guys, how are you all today? I'm super excited to be giving my first impression thoughts on a series called Charlotte. Charlotte is a slice of life drama supernatural series produced by PA Works this summer season. I was really anticipating Charlotte because we got really great series like Nagino Asuka and Angel Beats from Charlotte. Charlotte is directed by the same director who worked on Angel Beats, so there's definitely a lot of hype around the series. I was really excited about Charlotte because I really want something that's going to tug at my heartstrings, that's going to make me emotional, that's going to make me reflect and think about something. Charlotte starts off with a boy named Yu Otosaka who is a high school student. Around the time when he was in middle school he started noticing that he has a superpower and he has the ability to take over someone's body and possess them for five seconds. This can be very useful or very disastrous depending on how you go about it. Yu ends up using his powers to cheat at school, hit on girls, steal things, get revenge. He gets by in life pretty easily because he has the superpower and when he enters high school he ends up getting caught. Because he gets flawless grades on tests and on his transcript. He ends up meeting a girl named Nao Toyama who is filming him around the school. Nao is student body president at a high school called Hoshinomi Academy which is basically set up for students with these kinds of superpowers. A lot of people who develop superpowers around their adolescence, these superpowers fade with time but some people actually end up having them for their entire lives. Nao and her friend have been watching you for a few weeks, months now and they figure it out that he kind of has some sort of advantage over the other students and they figure it out that he basically has a superpower. So this school was created in order to manage and protect these students. The series setup reminded me a little bit of Hamatora, which also dealt a lot with a supernatural superpower society. And I was really surprised that Charlotte got so dark so quickly because in the second episode right away, we found out a little bit about Nao's backstory, how her and her brother were kidnapped and taken in by scientists, and they were basically experimented on like guinea pigs. So you can imagine that not only Nao, but a lot of other adolescents or kids who had superpowers also probably found themselves in these kinds of situations. I really like how the first episode so basically cut any excess introductions that we could have had. The first episode encapsulated everything we needed to know and set it up so that you could be in Hoshinomi Academy the moment we stepped into episode two. Episode two set the tone of the series. When you have a series with superpowers and when you have a bunch of adolescent kids who might abuse or not know how to use any of these superpowers, you're definitely gonna run into trouble. Episode two shows us a little bit of the comedy aspects of these superpowers, but also sets a more somber tone to the overall series. Even if you've only seen the trailer from Charlotte, you get the idea that it's not your typical supernatural comedy high school series. Also, we get the feeling that Yu's younger sister is also going to have superpowers at some point because a lot of the time superpowers are hereditary. So I'm really curious as to how Yu is going to change as a character. Because right now at the very beginning, he's very selfish. He's more standoffish. He doesn't really want to create close ties with people. And he doesn't really see the point in befriending people because he's used people as a means towards his own ends for so long. I'm curious as to how Yu is going to grow as a person because right now he just doesn't seem fully engaged in what's happening in the series. Now, the main female protagonist that's first introduced, she seems a little bit interesting as well. She's quite quiet, quite reserved. She doesn't say more than necessary, and you feel like there's something a little bit off with her. She basically takes no sass from you, and you is like the most self-centered person, so she really keeps you in line. As well, other characters are going to be introduced in the subsequent episodes of Charlotte. Overall though, I think the superpowers aspect is a pretty good reason to check out the series, even though you're not really engaged in any of the emotional themes of the series. Because the superpowers are so unstable, a lot of the times each superpower will have its own little flaw and because of that flaw it just comes up with a lot of different superpower ideas. For example in episode 2 Yu was helping the student council catch another student who was abusing his powers. His power was the ability to snapshot a photograph of anything he thinks of. I found that superpower pretty creative. It's not like your conventional elemental superpowers and it's not like your telekinetic mental superpowers. Nao's own superpower is also quite cool because she's not invisible to everyone. She's only invisible to one one target and so that kind of creates a really weird dynamic with her character as well so I'm looking forward to seeing more. Overall though lots of potential in Charlotte because of the cast, because of the director, the company, the animation looks really stunning. Everything is crisp and clear and just looks really good. I'm really excited for Charlotte so I hope you guys will give that a try. We haven't figured out why the series is called Charlotte yet. I'm hoping that will tie into dialogue or something in the plot or something in the themes and then we'll figure that out later down the line. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to film as many first impression vlogs as I can. One of you guys asked for Manga Mondays and Manga Mondays is coming back, have no fear. I have a feeling I'll do a manga video later this week. I know it's not on Monday, but hopefully you guys can forgive me for that because the schedule is a bit hectic right now. As well, if you guys are looking for more first impression recaps or reviews, you can check out littlecloudcuriosity.com, the blog, because that is updated a lot quicker than all the videos on the channel. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit like or subscribe for more from me and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!